Welcome again, dear friends, to another edition of Fresh Bread. This is Reverend Phil Anderson here, pastor of Oakland United Methodist Church and Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church here in the capital city of Topeka, Kansas, of course, here in the middle of the U.S. of A. Hey, we are now at almost the midway point of the month of September. It's Tuesday, September 14th. Hope you're having a good week, certainly, and we are delighted you're spending a few minutes of your day with us here. We do these five-minute daily devotionals. We kind of run out of time like we did yesterday. All of a sudden, I looked up and where'd the time go? But anyway, we are glad you're with us. These hopefully will be little pick-me-ups and just give me an idea of what's going on. And we want to look at some scripture passages today. And Psalm 1 has come up for our lectionary reading for Sunday, the 19th of September. This is a psalm that I remembered first really being acquainted with back in 1987 when I was working with a friend of mine, a real visionary and leader. He was both. <laughs> Steve Knox out in San Diego, California. And we took a group of, I don't know, must have been 25 high school kids up to Lake Tahoe. It's about a 10, 11 hour drive from San Diego up to Lake Tahoe. Steve was from Northern California, so he knew all that area like the back of his hand, Yosemite and Tahoe areas were just like second homes to him. Well, anyway, we went up there. I remember the first night we were around a campfire and we were asked to memorize the first Psalm. <laughs> And so I did. I memorized that psalm, and I, I go back every so often. I'll go, hey, I need to make sure I still know that. You know, ever done that? You memorize something, and then you got to go back and make sure you still know it. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, or sits in the stands in the way of sinners, or sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He's like a tree planted by streams of water, whose leaf does not wither, and all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but they're like chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. That's how I remembered it, and that's how I memorized it. And that's basically what it is today. I just want to look at the very first verse, because it, it tells you how to be happy and, and how to be happy by what you don't do. A lot of people think, well, let's learn to be happy by what we do. And in this case, it's take, teaching us how to be happy by the things we don't do. In other words, by what do we avoid? Can we avoid things and therefore be happy? And the answer to that is, of course. There was a poster when I was in Crane Junior High School has been there years before I was there. And of course, Crane closed a few years after I left. Things were way different back then than they are now, right? And schools and everything. But anyhow, there was a big poster that was really an old poster. And it was framed in behind glass. and was up near the door to the principal's office. And I'll never forget what that poster said. The best way to stop a bad habit is never to start it. The best way to stop a bad habit is never to start it. I wonder what ever happened to that poster. But you know, whether it meant anything to anybody else or not, it sure did to me. I'll never forget. As young people who are so tuned into what's happening now on their smartphones, on their social media and their text messages. I'm concerned that we may have lost some of that where we revere the wisdom of those who have gone on before us and those who have laid the groundwork for where we are today. I just wonder about that. Maybe we'll get some young people and do a panel meeting some night where we can just ask them questions. I think they would have a lot to tell us. We love them, we support them, we want to make sure we help show them the way to Christ. Well, friends, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. God bless you. We'll talk to you tomorrow.